Hello. You know, I've been reading this book called A Long Obedience in the Same Direction by Eugene Peterson. And um, here it is. <laughs> and it's got this tagline, Discipleship in an Instant Society. There you go. Now, chapter one of the book uh, describes or gives you an overview of the entire book. Um, chapter one talks about discipleship. All right. And uh, basically, um, he uses this illustration of disciples not as tourists, but rather as pilgrims. Pilgrims. Okay. Um, you see, tourists, they come in, they enjoy the highlights of the, you know, the, the place, the country, and they, you know, they leave after a few days. Pilgrims are people who are in a long journey towards one direction towards an ultimate destination so that's really who we are and I like the tension that he establishes at the start of chapter one um, likening that to some people who you know I, they would get a taste of church they would get a taste of um, prayers and you know church attendance maybe once a week but they don't like the long um, journey of discipleship they don't like the following Christ because when it comes to discipleship um, he uses two things to describe it. First, he uses the word disciple. And of course, disciple, um, how he describes this is, says that we are people who spend our lives apprentice to our master, Jesus Christ. Now, another word, or another way to describe us, our relationship with Christ is pilgrims. And this tells us we are people who spend our lives going someplace and that is ultimately going to God. Really, if you're to be a follower of Christ, that's what it means. It, it's not just about, you know, the emotional highs you get once in a while while attending church or an online service and just the feeling or the emotion you get or if there's a tear coming out of your eye once in a while. Really, discipleship is being apprenticed to Jesus, meaning following His commands and doing it for the rest of your life understanding that it's a journey all right it's a marathon it's not a race it's a marathon and you know another thing that i got from just that idea is this there are people on the other end first there are people on one end that you know they just want the whole experience the emotional high the others they're after moralistic achievement wherein they just want to be able to be a better version of themselves and so they try to follow the commands of the Lord and everything in the Bible to a T like try to perfect it and as they do so they just get tired so whether you're there are people who are on one end just looking for that emotional experience and when they don't get that experience when they don't get you know the happy um, chilly feeling they just leave or the other group of people where they get exhausted because they they find out that you know they can't really do this on their own strength and so here's what discipleship is here's what it means to be a disciple it's that long obedience right not looking for instant gratification or instant results it's not about self-help but being a better person and it's not just having emotional feelings it's about following Jesus in the book it talks about the song of ascents um, this is um, Psalm, Song of Ascents, really are the Psalms 120 through 134. It talks about the, a pilgrim on their way to Jerusalem, which is the highest place in all of Israel. Now, the, that, that's what it is, uh, literally the highest place, but figuratively, it's, a, it's, it's, it's towards God. That's what it is. And that's how they understood it. And so on their way there, they would sing these Psalms, 120 to 134, and, 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 and that, those psalms, because this journey was pretty long for some to get there, and while they sang these psalms on their way to Jerusalem, these psalms gave them the strength to just press on and keep on. And in the same way, that's, what disciples, how, that's how discipleship works. We need the Word of God to guide us. We need fellowship of believers to, be, to remind us of the Word of God. We need, we need to continue on this journey. So that's what discipleship is. It's not just about an emotional high, saying I love you Jesus in tears once in a while. Neither is it about moralistic achievement, just being a better version of yourselves. It's a journey 
It's a long journey of obeying and following the will of God in your life. So that's my quick review of chapter one for this book. I hope you get a copy. It's a great read. And let's see, probably I'll be doing chapter two in the coming weeks. Let me pray for you. Lord, thank you for those people who are hearing this video, watching this video right now. Thank you, Lord, that this, this relationship with you, Lord, it's a journey. It's something we could just enjoy and something we can grow into. Thank you, Lord, that it's not just a matter of emotional high. It's Neither is it a matter of us just being a better version of ourselves, but rather it's a journey of discovering your plans for us, your will for us, and you giving us the grace to follow. So Lord, thank you as we go through this pilgrim. Thank you that you will arm us with your word, with the fellowship of believers, and your spirit that will make us enjoy the journey as well. So Lord, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hope you enjoyed and found this fruitful. Get the book. God bless you.